My advice to other CEOs or executive directors and nonprofits about sabbaticals is do it. <laughs> it, is, uh, it was the best thing I've done uh, in terms of my professional development so far to be a way to be able to reflect and to actually uh, develop greater trust in my colleagues that they can make decisions in my absence, they can run the organization, they can work together to continue to ensure that the work continues. I think if an executive director thinks about a sabbatical, uh, they should plan, they should plan, and they should plan again. The planning is really the most important key. And in planning, there should be a contingency plan that doesn't involve that executive director. Because if staff feel that the contingency is to contact you on a sabbatical, then you're really not free to, to kind of uh, be yourself and because you're always anticipating that phone call. The main advice I'd give to, to an executive director as, as he or she anticipates this move, this sabbatical, uh, would be to prepare your staff. That's the, that's the main thing, it seems to me, that you'd have to kind of sit down with them and really work it out. And even in concrete, specific, small things, you know, who's going to handle this and who's going to handle that. And, and get people's comfort level, uh, you know, to such a place where they, they got it. You know, you, you, and there's no thing that's too small that you can't walk somebody through and say, while I'm gone, you know, take this over. And um, I think that's important because you don't want to just say adios and walk out of the place with your bags packed. I would encourage all executive directors to take the time to actually write up the proposal. Be even if they are not ready to submit it, it actually does provide a great opportunity to be more introspective about yourself and your organization, about sustainability of the organization, and um, be more strategic about how you are growing your staff. I would strongly, strongly recommend executive directors if they can't, if there's an opportunity to apply, if there's an opportunity to create, to take a chunk of time away. But I, I, I would really exhort them to follow the rule that it is rest. It's not to write your book. It's not to finish your master's thesis. It really is about you resting and recreating and taking you know, time away from the day to day and any big projects and you know, if you need to do a project, garden or something, do something like that, you know, but don't go and run, you know, start another project somewhere um, that you, or that you didn't finish. So I think it's, uh, it's, so, it's so wonderful to treat yourself to something like that. And then you want to give it to others because then when you come back, you want to bring it to your organization.